Well, this is not the control room of the Star Trek Enterprise, even though it looks like it. This is a really cool analog old school board from the mid to late 70s uh, by a company called API. Um, and it's one of my favorite, all time favorite boards. It sounds amazing. Um, you know, you have your vintage Neves and, you know, old Decker consoles, old EMI consoles, Helios Tridents and stuff like that. Um, and this is just another flavor and it's a, it's just a flavor I really like. Um, it's got a lot of warmth to it. It's, um, it's not a valve console, but it, it sounds really big and really warm. It's got a lot of bottom end to it. And um, yeah, it's very old school. It's, it's split, it's not in line. So the record section's way at the back over there. Those are your record channels and these are your returns, control room section. Um, and it's just, it's just the way it sounds. It's, it's full, it's, it's got heaps of character. Um, so yeah, just, just, just to give you an example, we were in here in uh, Rack Studio 2 recording a full album with a band live. They were in the, in the live room downstairs, control rooms upstairs here. And um, everything was sounding great and big. And, you know, we sort of had a rough mix on the go. And then, you know, for budget reasons, we moved to a mix room where there was a much more modern board and um, suddenly all that lovely round fatness that I had on the kick and the bass and you know snares and stuff all, all that all that oomph was gone so I had to drag in racks and racks of analog valve outboard gear to recreate what this board did by itself um, you know and we were recording flat I had no EQ on the go nothing Everything was just as it came back from from tape, and um, just just going to a more modern console, it was it was like somebody had stolen all my my low end and all the excitement of of the music. So yeah, it took a long time to recreate what this thing does by itself. So yeah, we can have a we can have a little listen to uh, something I recorded on this console um, using a combination of vintage mics and uh, what I call new vintage mics. So they're sort of reproductions of vintage technology, but with, with modern, modern electronics. So we recorded it down here in uh, Studio Two, just the guitar and vocals. And uh, yeah, we can have a, have a listen how, how round that sounds. So we track by Mo Michael called River Moon which we recorded down here. Just a couple of microphones on the guitar, uh, one mic on the, on the lead vocal, and then same mic on, on the BVs, which we overdubbed later. So, um, you know, we can hear lovely round bottom end on the guitar, because it's a big guitar. It's a, it's a Gibson J200, which belonged to uh, Mickey Most, who, you know, founded this studio. Um, a beautiful big jumbo guitar so I wanted to capture that big organic sound so we've got you know it, the way Mo plays is he's got the guitar in his lap so I had I had like a 67 modern version on the body there with a with a Telefunken style 251 that pair and then just to get some sparkle on the top end and some, some finger noise because he, he plays in an interesting way with his thumb. I put an old uh, Neumann KM84 and a silver AKG414 which is very bright and sparkly so that, that forms the landscape just to give me a little bit of stereo field. So you can, you can hear the big big bottom end of that of that guitar and then you can hear the sparkle with the with the high the high microphones and 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 the desk is just capturing that naturally you know so you, you go downstairs and you listen to the guitar you come back up here and it's exactly the way it sounds um, 
you know, and no EQ on the way in, no compression. You know, the, the tape sends are just flat with all the mic gain set and, and that's how it comes back. And again, no EQ, no compression uh, on, on the return either. So, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with some compression later on when we're talking about other boxes and stuff, but it, it just returns and that's how you heard it in the studio. If I catch just one ray, come what may. Ooh. 